Well, the hardest hit spots in this area are right along the Kentucky-Tennessee line, and that's where Fox 17's Michaela Lewis has been uh, out there all day braving the ice and snow. She joins us now with more. Well, Stacy, right now the storm is letting up here in Hopkinsville, but earlier today it created several challenges for emergency crews. Now let's take a look at the roads. As you can see right now, they are very slick. They kind of have some snow on top of them. And with the freezing temperatures right now, it's about 27 degrees here in Hopkinsville. It's only going to get more dangerous overnight because it's only going to get more slick. Now the freezing rain is not only making it hard to drive, but it also caused some power outages here in Christian and Trigg counties earlier today. More than 200 residents lost power, but Penny Rowell Electric Service restored it. The freezing rain turned to sleet earlier tonight, but Penny Rowell administrators say that is actually a good thing for their service. And the freezing rain didn't last quite as long as I think we anticipated. When it changed to sleet, the sleet doesn't stick to the lines as much as the freezing rain does. So we did have a few outages throughout the day, but nothing major. Now, as you can see, there are still moisture and ice on top of the power lines here in Hopkinsville. And if it continues to stay freezing overnight, it could get worse and cause more power outages. Now, Penny Rail Electric Service is keeping its customers up to date with all the power outages and their services on Facebook. And right now, the last we heard is that they are currently working on restoring power for about 200 residents in Logan and Todd counties. Now, stay tuned because coming up at 10, we'll have more on the storm here in Kentucky. Live in Hopkinsville, Makeda Lewis, Fox 17 News.